Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 16.5, reading scientific notation. Today's notes will be 10 things, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down is what is scientific notation, and that's just when a large number or a very small number is just basically simplified and written in a different form. Um, you always want to write it as a power of 10, and it'll always have an exponent of an integer, meaning a positive or negative whole number. And then the first number here has to be in between the numbers 1 and 9.9. .9. So it has to be equal to 1 and less than 10. Let's go ahead and take time now to just write this down about scientific notation. Let's go ahead and pause here so you have time to write. And once you're done, click play so you can see how one is done. All right, so these two, you're going to basically say yes or no if they're written in scientific notation, and then tell me why. So let's go ahead and pause the video here. Remember, the first number has to be between 1 and less than 10, and the exponent needs to be an integer. All right, so the letter A for number 2 is yes, because this number, 5.9, is in between 1, is sorry, greater than or equal to 1, but still less than 10 and the negative 6 is an integer. Letter B, though, is not, and the reason is because um, 0 0.9 is less than 1. Okay, so it has to be equal to or bigger than 1, but still less than 10. Number 3 is 12 times 10 to the 4th written in scientific notation explained. So again, we're going to pause this one and try it, and then once you're done, click play to check your work. So number 3 is not written in scientific notation because 12 is greater than 10. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to write stuff in scientific notation, and you'll have a question like this on your homework and your quiz. Um, but basically what you see here is 4.3e to the 10th power. That just means it's doing 4.3 times 10 to the 10th power. Okay. So what we would have to do here is take our decimal 4.3 and just move it 10 swoops to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to have nine zeros. So my answer would be this big number. 430, oops, 43 billion would be my answer for that one. This one you're going to try. So notice this says 1.2e to the negative third. So if positive numbers go to the right, think about how our negative numbers go. Go ahead and pause the video here to see if you can try number four, and then once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so the negative three just means we're going to move the decimal in the negative direction three times. One, two, three. That was a little bit different than the previous one. The previous one had a positive number, but this one has a negative number, so my answer would be 0 .0012 for number four. Okay. Again, here are some things that you're going to write down about how to write standard numbers in standard form, and you kind of already saw a little glimpse of it on the previous slide. If the exponent is negative, move the decimal to the left. If the exponent is positive, move the decimal to the right. Here's what you're going to write down for number five, and this is the exponent that you're going to see in this scientific notation. So for instance, 1.7 times 10 to the negative fifth, this will be moving decimal to the left. Or if we have 1.7 times 10 to the positive fifth, that's going to be moving the decimal to the right. Go ahead and take time now to write down what's in the box here. And once you're done, click play so you can see how it's done. Okay, so this first one I'm going to show you how. So what you just wrote down is that negative exponents move decimals to the left and positive moves decimals to the right. So you would start by writing the decimal that's given to you. This decimal in letter A is 3.22. And then I'm going to move it four times, and this is going to be moving to the left because it's negative. Think about on a number line as well. You have a number line, here's zero. All your negatives are on the left, and your positives are on the right. So you're going to be moving in the negative direction. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to have three zeros, so point zero 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 three two two is my answer. Okay. For letter B, same type of deal, except now we're going to the right because this is positive. So take 7.9 and just move it five swoops to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Fill in your empty spaces with zeros. 
So we'll have 790,000 for my answer in letter B. Okay? The next few you're going to try, so 6, 7, and 8, go ahead and pause the video now so you can try them. And then once you're done, click play to check your work. Alright, so for number 6, we're starting with the number 6. The decimal is right behind it, and we're going to move it 7 spaces to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This one is going to be a 6 with 7 zeros, or 60 million. Okay, number seven, we're starting with 9.9 .9 and moving it five to the left. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to give us point zero 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 nine nine. The last one in number eight, we're taking the whole entire decimal, 1.285, and moving it four times to the right. One, two, three, four. That one only had one zero added onto it. So my answer for number 8 is 12,850. Okay. The last two, you're just going to try these one more time. So again, let's pause. We're going to write the number in standard form, which just means a normal number without the decimal. Go ahead and take time now to pause it, try it, and once you're done, click play. Okay, so for number 9, we're starting with 1.56. Oops. I'm moving it 7 to the right. Let's rewrite that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Filling up, we got five zeros. So that's 15,600,000. And then number 10, we have 6.3. And then moving that decimal five spaces to the left. That's going to be point zero 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 six three as my answer. Okay, so that's going to conclude our notes for scientific notation and just reading it. So just make sure you have those 10 things written down in your notes today. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.